This video is a demonstration of how to set up and configure the P8010 indicator. If the indicator is being powered up for the first time, the display will show Go to Conf. It's asking you to go to the configuration menu. If the indicator has previously been configured, then the indicator will usually be in the normal operating mode and the display will show the process value. The indicator in this demonstration has previously been configured so when I power it up it will show the process value. In this case it will show open because I do not have anything connected to the input terminals. To get into the configuration menu from this normal operating mode hold down the scroll and then press the up arrow. The display initially flashes up SLCT select and here we have a choice of the operation mode, setup mode, configuration mode and information mode. Use the arrow to get to conf, configuration mode and press the scroll key. The display then shows ULOCK, which is the unlock code, and the um, display will show a zero. The unlock code required to enter configuration is 20. So just use the up arrow until we get 20. Then press the scroll key. In configuration mode, we can select the input signal range and alarm values. We can also select the output usage for the alarm, set up comms and digital input usage if the appropriate output boards or input board has been fitted. We're now in the configuration mode menu and in this case the input has been con configured for a PT100 input signal. Let's just have a look at the other parameters in this menu. The range, the upper limit, in this case 537.7 and lower range limits. Alarm values, in this case with alarm 1 is set for a high alarm and the value of that high alarm is 537.7 and the alarm hysteresis is 0.1 of a degree. We can do a similar thing for alarms on outputs um, 2, 3, 4 and 5 as well if the dual alarm option has been fitted. We now come to the usage. This is where we can allocate the alarm output to a particular use. In this case use 1 has been allocated to alarm 1 and alarm 1 has been selected as being direct acting non-latching. Similar thing for use 2 and use 3. We'll now come out of the configuration mode menu and go back to normal operation mode. We do that by pressing the scroll and the up arrow and then we're into this menu here of setup, configuration, info and operation mode. Select operation mode and now we're back into normal operating. In this example the P8010 indicator has been fitted with three output relays. We want to configure the indicator for a range of 0 to 80 with an input signal of 4 to 20 milliamps. Output 1 to be a high alarm at 75, output 2 to be a high alarm at 70 and output 3 to be a low alarm at 20. Alarm 1 to be direct acting and latching Alarm 2 to be direct acting non-latching and Alarm 3 to be reverse acting non-latching. 
all alarms to have a hysteresis of 1. So in the menu, at the moment the input has been configured for a PT100 input signal. So we want to change that. Input PT100 just use the up or the down arrow till we get 4 to 20 because the input signal we want is 4 to 20 milliamps. It's flashing. Press the scroll. You will then be asked do you want to really want to accept this as being the input? Yes. Press the up arrow. It goes to the steady state. So that's the input signal selected. Next parameter is the range. The upper range at the moment is 100. We want a range of uh, upper limit of 80. The range is 0 to 80. And so the upper limit is 80. Just bring this down to 80. Flashing. Press the scroll. Do you want to accept this? Yes. And it goes to a steady state. Range lower limit. That's it. Lower limit. It's already at zero. Okay. Decimal position. Yes, we'll have one decimal point. The next parameter is lin u. This appears if we've got a linear input signal. Normally the default is at none, but if the linear input signal refers to a temperature input, for example, we might have a temperature probe connected to a, a transmitter that gives us 4 to 20 milliamps output. This is where we could select the engineering display to be in degrees C or degrees F. So this will only apply if your input signal is related to a temperature signal. Next one, MPS. This is where we can have scaling. With the indicator we can um, have nine points that we can allocate to linearize a non-linear input signal. Alarm 1, this is where we um, have the alarm 1, what the function of it is. Now for alarm 1 we want it to be a high alarm which is, eh, it's already been selected as that and the value of it we want the alarm value to be 75 at the moment it's showing the maximum upper range limit of 80, let's bring it down to 75 flashing, yes the hysteresis, we want the alarm hysteresis to be 1 for all the, of the alarms, so let's just change that to 1, flashing, and the function of the alarm will come to later. Second alarm, low alarm, no we don't want it to be a low alarm, we want it to be a high alarm, and we want the value of that alarm to be 70. And again we want the alarm hysteresis to be 1. Alarm 3. We want this to be a low alarm. That's OK. And we want the value of it to be 20. the hysteresis we want to be one again alarm four and five we don't have them fitted use one we want one use one to be alarm one direct acting and latching at the moment it's direct acting but non-latching, so we want to change that. Here, direct acting, latching. Use 2, we want use 2 to be alarm 2, um, which it is, it's been selected for that. Non-latching and direct. 
and juice 3, we want alarm 3 to be direct acting and non sorry, we want alarm 3 to be reverse acting but non latching. At the moment it's non latching but direct, so we want to make it reverse acting. Non latching reverse. That's it. Display. So let's get back to the normal operation mode. Scroll, scroll, and whilst you're holding scroll, press the up. And we're back into normal operation mode. After configuring the indicator, the next step is to go to the setup mode. So from the select menu, choose setup. Press the scroll. It calls for an unlock. The default unlock for setup menu is 10. Press the scroll to enter. And the first parameter it shows is filter. Input filter time. This parameter is used to fil filter out extraneous impulses on the process variable. It's adjustable from 0 to 100 seconds in half second increments and the default is 2 seconds. The next parameter in the setup menu is offset and this parameter is used to modify the process variable value and used to compensate for errors in the display value of the process variable. The default value is 0. The next parameter you come across is signal. This is a read only value, you, you can't change this at all. In setup menu we can also look at and um, alter the settings for the alarm values that we've uh, entered in configuration mode and the hysteresis for each of the alarms, if we wanted to. After the alarms we have tear. When this feature is enabled it allows the operator to set the current process variable input to be displayed as zero. This function can be used to eliminate any offset on the input signal, for example when a transducer is not giving a true zero value. One example, um, it can be used in applications displaying the weight of a product to remove the weight of a container before starting. So to come out of the setup menu again, similar to how we came out of configuration menu, press the scroll and the up and we're back into the select menu. One final menu in the select menu uh, options is info. Okay. In the info menu it tells us what uh, the type of input can be accepted by the um, indicator. It's universal input. Option number one, this is the board that's fitted into option one, it's a relay board. In output number two, the option in two is a relay board. In number three, it's also a relay board. So we've got three relay boards fitted. Option A, we don't have anything fitted in option slot A. FW, this is the firmware version, the issue number, and PRL, this is the revision code. Here we have the date of manufacture, in this case December 2018, and now we have the serial number. So the serial number for this indicator is 9447150006. And then to come out of that menu, scroll and up together. That takes us to the select menu. Go to operator menu. And now we're back into normal operation.